Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprite. So here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. Free pick in college basketball coming up in just a moment. We're going to talk Duke, Notre Dame. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do to get started, click on that link below the video. All right, uh, here's what we got going for Wednesday. Day. I got two college basketball premium plays led by a five-star play. Uh, we're still hitting 75% with our last 16 college basketball sides. We're hitting 70% with all college basketball plays overall for the entire season. I did lose yesterday. It was a tough premium pick loser on Alabama with the way that game wrapped up against Furman. Furman getting the cover, Alabama missing some free throws. And so we'll look to bounce right back though. 2-0 and card for Wednesday. Five-star play leads the way. It goes at 6 p.m. Eastern in case you're interested. So you can grab both those plays over on my uh, Handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. And I'm also involved in soccer. Soccer, again, we've been tremendous over the last couple of weeks. Nine and three, up almost $4,000 for $100 per unit betters. But I did lose yesterday 1-0 in CONCACAF action. Had a plus money price with Olympia, but they lost to Montreal. So coming right back with some EPL action on a Wednesday. So we got two college basketball plays led by that five-star. By the way, the five stars this year all together in college basketball seven and one 88 percent on the season we'll look to an eight and one with this play on a wednesday and of course we've got soccer uh nfl and college football real quick and then we'll have a, a strong update for you on what we're going to do on Thursday's video report. Uh, but we do have a seven-star and a six-star all ready to go in college and pro football this weekend. That'll be two of the plays, probably, again, about a seven-play card. But again, we'll let you know the details on Thursday's video. But definitely a seven-star and a six-star. Seven-star game of the month going to lead the way this week for us. So check that out. We are 67 and 45. That's 60% with our last 112 elite level college and pro football plays all right that's what's going on for us let's get to it let's get to the free play uh, for Wednesday's card and I'm going to toss a total out there at you it's Duke taking on Notre Dame of course Duke hasn't played in a little over a week we went against them we played Illinois the last time they played and then of course after they lost they decided to cancel the rest of their non-conference schedule now in ACC play they're taking on the Irish here's what Duke does when they lose as you all know uh, they usually pick it up on the offensive end more than anything else and I expect to see that here they're also going up against a Notre Dame team that can score some points they hit almost 42 percent so far from area code three uh, they're not bad from inside the arc either and they hit their free throws so if we get the Irish to the free throw line enough we're talking about a team that hits about four out of every five free throws so far on the season they've got multiple scores the kid Hub. I like this kid, Hub. He's averaging about 20 points per game, a little bit more than that, and he can lead the way. Uh, as far as everything else, when you look at Duke, I mean, even though they are just two and two, they're still top 20 in the country when it comes to adjusted efficiency on the offensive end. They're 16th or 17th uh, to be exact or close to it. And Notre Dame is also going to want to pick up the tempo. Here's the thing against Kentucky, we saw the Wildcats kind of slow things down against Notre Dame, but the Wildcats are 209th, 210th in the country in adjusted tempo they don't have to worry about that with duke duke's not top 10 they're not top 20 uh, but they will play a much quicker tempo than what notre dame had to face in that game against kentucky so i expect both teams to be able to score some points now as we speak that total is right around 146 it's probably going to go up uh, if it does we recommend uh, that you still uh, look to the over even if this gets up to 149 or 150 don't know that it will uh, but again i do know some people who are going to come in on this during the morning hours and play the over so again right now it's at 146 even if it goes up a couple of baskets i still recommend uh, the over uh, in this contest so over the total between uh, duke and notre dame is our free pick don't forget about the action going on for me on my home page on wednesday again two college basketball plays including a five-star play we look to go to eight and one with those elite level plays on the season all right if you like the videos click on that thumbs up be sure to subscribe tough loss here last night with the free pick on Longwood. Uh, they covered for 39 minutes and 30 seconds out of 40 minutes of game time and then got outscored 8 nothing down the stretch. We'll look to get right back in the win column here. Uh, again, the over between Duke and Notre Dame is the free play. Let's put it in the win column we're right back here Wednesday night. We'll have Thursday's report. We'll be telling you what we got going in college football and the NFL. We'll talk to you then.